Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again to see my bald-faced hornet queen, well one of them, um, and her building of her nest. This has been about six days worth of filming, um, about eight hours a day. I do about four hours in the morning, four hours in the afternoon, so we got about 48 hours of video here um, over the course of about, I guess, I mean, I guess it was about six days, but so it's been crunched down in about 19 minutes worth of time lapse. So this has been a really really interesting filming I have gotten to see some pretty interesting stuff a um, couple of the things that have been um, standing out to me is um, how busy this queen is I mean she is she is building comb she is building cells she is building the nest she is going out and foraging she is getting food and she is feeding the larvae and keeping them content um, it is just like I mean, from the second she gets up, when the day when the sun comes up in the morning, she is out moving nonstop until nighttime, and then she rests. I mean, she rests a little bit in between during the day, but significantly, um, quite a bit of activity. So, um, what's really neat about this time lapse is that you get to see her. Um, you get to see her building um, these ribbons of paper um, with the the wood pulp uh, in succession so when you're watching this in real time when she lays those ribbons she does about 13 passes over the same spot and you don't really get to see like your eyes can't really adjust to how much of that ribbon she built um, so in the time lapse you really get to see it like all of a sudden wham she you know this whole big piece of ribbon is there and it's really incredible watching her do that fast and seeing how just uh, just how precise she is about how she lays it and where she puts it. Um, so a couple of things that you can take notice to in um, these shots is she will feed a couple of the larvae at a time. So she'll bring back some food and then she gives it to uh, say three or four larvae and you see them kind of like have these little black blobs on them um, while they chew at it. And she'll come back and, you know, after a good period of time, she'll lay a couple uh, ribbons of, of paper. And then she comes back and she'll actually transfer those pieces of food from one larva to another one. So it's not like she has to go out and get individual larva food at certain times. Like she'll bring back big globs and let them chew at it for a bit and then take it from them and then move it to another one and share. Something I didn't realize they were doing as much. Um, I always kind of just a figure that she was going out and collecting food and then bringing back um, each individual larva their own um, designated food. A um, couple things here with the uh, with the building, which is really cool. Um, you'll see her lay a strip of ribbon, and then she actually detaches like an end of it, and then attaches it to the inner cone. So right now she's working on the outer cone, but what you'll see is she'll go out, she'll forage, she'll chew on some wood make some pulp bring it back and lay a strip detach it and then reattach it to the bottom so like it almost makes like that one thing it's securing the outer cone to the inner cone but it also uh, makes for a ventilation spot for you can kind of see a couple of the dark spots for ventilation So in this time lapse, like in the last one, the last video I did, I edited it out every time that she left the nest. So if it was five minutes or two minutes, I edited out that spot. So it was literally she went out and came right back in the video. This video, I left it pretty much unadulterated. I didn't splice anything. I literally just put one video from the other right back to back and rendered it that way. So even though she's gone for from the nest and you're seeing just a larva wiggling around for a little bit you know she may be gone for five minutes but in here maybe the max is 15 seconds that you don't see any like activity from from our queen um so i mean i did try to do a little bit of editing on it but it was negligible i mean only like removed about 15 minutes over the course of 48 hours so it's like well what's the point you know so um i did leave that in there and um kind of gives you a little bit more of a real-time feel even though it's sped up um, five fat I think it's 500 percent so
So this is actually a portion of the video that I have right now for um, this nest being built. Um, the the other half of it that I have, um, I didn't get a chance to actually render that stuff. It took this 16 hours to render, um, and I wanted to make sure that this video wasn't super long. So this is still 19 minutes long, but um, it's still better than the, I think it would came out to about an hour and a half if I rendered um, the entire length of video that I have. Um, so I'm going to be splitting this up a little bit, and right now, the, the last couple days, there hasn't really been any um, building going on. She's been kind of more just tending to the um, to the last couple larvae um, that haven't weaved their silk caps yet. So the ones that you're seeing right now, like the four largest ones there on the top right and bottom, those ones all at this point, at this point um, currently have weaved their silk caps. So I think within the next couple days, they're going to be hatching and... Um, We'll have a pretty active nest up there, which that's going to be pretty cool to film. Um, another thing, um, I was asked a couple questions in the comments. I usually try to answer the comments um, right there um, in the comment section. Um, but I did get asked uh, by my girl, Donna Davidson. She asked, um, after the queen's done building, um, will she have other duties? So how the construct of this works, so when she first merges in springtime, she is the builder, she is the forager, she is the mother, um, she is the guard. Now, when her first brood hatch from being, or into being adults, she will not leave that nest until she dies in it at the end of the season. So, as depressing as that sounds, um, she her duties right now being all those parts she then relinquishes all those duties to her daughters and that's the whole that's honestly the whole point of um, creating her workers um, so what she'll do is her her roles will then be solely the mother um, a like maternity tender and laying eggs laying eggs will be her main role so that is why these nests will be about 300 to 500 adults by the end of the season because she is just like nonstop putting out eggs. I think that I think I had read that, that she can put out to like like 15 to 20 eggs in a day. So, and of course that changeover happens throughout the season. You know, workers die, someone will get killed. Um, you know, they 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 have to constantly be um, replacing um, the daughters and the workers. So after these adults will then be hatched, she will take that role. Um, some workers will go out and they will immediately become the foragers. They will become the, um, the builders that will have to go out and get pulp. Um, and something else to think about is that they will be carbon copy replicas of her. So they will literally be clones of her. So, um, it's almost just like making, you know, these. Some people say, "I wish there was more of me." Well, that's that's literally what she's doing. This this role that she has to do all this. I mean, she couldn't sustain this on her own. Um, so she makes carbon copies of herself to then carry on the load. Um, so once once these these girls here will hatch, um, this workload as far as building is going to just like increase exponentially this nest is going to get super big super fast um, so that time lapse is going to be really interesting to do because you know I've always wanted to see how they work together and um, how they actually construct this thing as being a collective of hundreds of individuals building at the same time so it's going to be quite a construction site something to watch for um, when she comes back with food is um, is seeing how she will divvy it out. So she divvies out um, the food to, like I said, to a couple of them at a time, and then we'll transfer it around. But something that most times, even I don't think about when I'm editing these videos, is that we're looking up into the nest. So these larvae are hanging upside down. So when there's something given to them to eat, and it looks like they're just like laying it on their chest and like pecking at it, it's actually stuck to them and they're hanging upside down and eating. So every now and then you actually see them drop food, which is really, it's really sad. You think about how long she had to go fly out and collect this food and then they're eating and they're like, oh, I dropped it. You know, you think about it as a parent, you know, 
and your kid drops his food, you know, then you have to go get him something else. Well, her, she actually has to fly out and kill something or scavenge and find some food somewhere. Just funny. It's kind of interesting to think about. So here you'll watch a nice uh, ribbon get laid up in that, that corner. Um, she... I think it's on that left side. She'll she'll build it and then she'll detach it and attach it to the um, to the cone underneath, which is cool to see. If you notice too, on the larva, those um, they have like a black line on their back, and every now and then, if you watch close enough, you'll see like their whole back almost like pulsates and gets darker and lighter and things. Um, the anatomy of these things would be so interesting. I I haven't actually. Um, read to understand as to what um, how their their body works the anatomy works you know I'm, I'm a nurse so I know how the human circulatory system works and um, of course how our bodies function but it's it'd be really interesting to, to learn as to like what all of their um, bodily parts and what um, how they actually function you know if there's hearts in there and you know what gets pumped around and just things like that I have noticed in these couple days of time lapses that she does rest quite a bit. Um, you'll see her just like kind of sit with her front legs outside the hole and the rest of her inside and she's just kind of like looking around. And um, So I think at this point she has stopped building comb and stopped building cells and hasn't really laid any new eggs just because the nest is at its full capacity right now for the size that she built it. Um, so once they hatch, then that's when she, they'll start building more cells and she'll start laying more. Um, so it did take a little bit longer for this inner ring of nest to get uh, to get fully constructed. Like right now, currently, it is uh, it's pretty much done. I mean, it's it's actually reattached to the inner cone, and um, and I mean she's ready for she's ready for this thing to start these girls will start hatching and start um, building this nest a lot bigger. It's really neat too to watch um, when she does lay a ribbon of paper. Um, something you don't really get to see in real time is how large that piece is that she lays. Um, when you're watching in real time, since it's taking her several passes, your mind kind of can't bridge that gap from what it looked like before she started and what it looked like when she was done. Um, however, with the time lapse, you almost like see it like up here. It's it's really interesting, and uh, if you notice when she lays it, it's almost it's slightly discolored. It's like a darker gray, and then if you kind of keep your eyes focused on that spot, you know, once she leaves and she's doing something else for the rest of the video, you'll you'll see it actually get lighter in front of your eyes, and you know you can actually scroll back a little bit and from the beginning and then see like from when that happened and uh and get to see the color differences so if you see all these nice big black globs well see one of them just dropped it um see the black globs on the top and the bottom larva now when she comes back she'll start transferring that stuff around to from one to the other see so that one on the, the middle now has a glob that the one on the right had Oh, somebody dropped one. Man, that must be so frustrating for her. Like, I thought I just gave you that. <laughs> so this was a different day. Um, my timer card holds up to about four and a half hours worth of video. And, um, and I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between this nest and the nest that I just relocated, which is doing really well, by the way. I'm so excited to put up that video. Um, but anyhow, uh, so when I do about four, four and a half hours of video, I have to bring the cart back to my house, which is only right across the street, but bring it back to my house and, um, save that video, delete it off the cart and then run it back over. Um, so what I've been doing, been alternating between the two nests, I've been removing that video and then putting it back in my camera and then bring the camera over to my house and, um, and then filming this other nest. So it's been pretty busy the last few days um, trying to get as much footage as I can of each nest and catching all the little um, 
the little nuances that show this nest, these nests being built. Here, I think this might be a ribbon that should detach. Yeah, you can see that on the bottom. See how it's detached? It almost has like a, a bit of a flare to it. Um, she, it almost seems like it's a mistake. Like, well, why would she, why would she just lay one solid piece? Well, um, the outer cone has to be attached to the inner cone just for structure purposes. If it wasn't, when she, every time she'd walk on that outer cone, it would be flopping around independently from the inner. Um, so as she lays certain points, she will just detach ribbon and attach it to the under cone. And, uh, and then when she lays again, like you don't even see that anymore. You just kind of look, it just looks like a little vent, vent hole. Kind of see that darker gray that she's laying, but look how it's just so neat to see that happen, you know, right before your eyes. So, my plan here for these videos now, once I do these uploads and have, you know, five or six videos of the same nest being built from one point to the other, so I'm going to be starting the next time lapse will be from the, when this video ends for the next like six or seven days and. What I'd really like to do, once this nest is full and established and whatnot, I want to go back and take these individual time lapses and then splice them together as a and, and have it be like super sped up. So this is 500%, then sp speed it up to like 2,000%. So you're watching a time lapse video of about 20 minutes over the course of like three months. And you can see how all of the stuff happens and just see it like almost like you know be built right in front of your eyes like I think that'd just be so so neat to see so that's kind of the plan for these um, time-lapse series uh, I haven't really decided what to call them yet and I need to give names to each one of these Queens so that way when we're talking about one or the other in the videos um, you know which ones I'm talking about so if you guys have any suggestions for um, names for the girls that'd be great um, I'd like to have some uh, um, some ideas thrown out of course my European Hornet Queen. I have seen her fly around. I still have yet to locate her nest. She's definitely around here somewhere because even when I'm filming this over at my buddy's house, I'll see her fly down at the bottom of the barn and start chewing on the wood. So she is somewhere around here building this nest and I will find her. Um, so um, yeah, so at this point she is, uh, you kind of see the majority of the, uh, the, the outer cone be built and um, and it's just before the, the first calf is being weaved. So that top left or top right um, larva, you see how big she is, Tubby. Um, she's the first one to lay the uh, lay the silk cap. And I didn't even get footage of it because I stopped filming the one night. And when I came back the next morning, she had already weaved the cap. So she did it over nighttime, little bugger. So hopefully I can get um, some one of these larva weaving their cap. Um, at this point, it's hard to get that shot up in there because the, the opening's narrow. So we're winding down here. This is right towards the end of the video. Um, I'm really excited to uh, to finish up these series as far as time lapse are concerned, and uh, so we can see the uh, the beginning to end. Um, if you guys have any questions or something you want me to cover in the video as far as uh, topic wise or just to explain something, just leave it in the comment and uh, and I'll cover it in the next video. Really appreciate you guys watching, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And um, for my returning viewers, appreciate you guys coming back.